Well, we're now joined by an Apple investor. Walter Price is the managing director of RCM Capital Management and holds Apple shares as well as uh, shares in Microsoft, Google, Cisco and Oracle. Uh, thank you very much for joining us. So first of all, just give us your prediction for iPad sales this weekend. Uh, this weekend is, uh, you know, I think they're going to sell well. They've actually postponed some of the uh, Wi-Fi versions, I think, to have inventory available in the stores. How much potential does this product have uh, looking ahead? Because, you know, a lot of people are saying that it doesn't seem to fall in, in one category or the other. It, it's sort of a cross between mm -hmm. the smartphone and a laptop. Mm -hmm. I, I think that uh, the people in our office that have played with it, that went to the keynote uh, that Steve Jobs had, uh, say once you actually touch the product, uh, because it's light and it's uh, quick, uh, they really like it a lot. And so uh, I think it's going to sell uh, five to seven million is our prediction uh, for this year. Now, if we just broaden this out to look at the performance of the tech sector in general at the moment, at the end of 2009, some investors were saying that uh, gains in tech stocks that we saw last year were, were basically as good as it's going to get. Mm -hmm. what's, what's your outlook? Do you think there is much upward potential there? Well, I think it depends on the sector that you're looking at. Uh, if you're related to the enterprise sector, I think business is just starting to recover and it's going to pick up momentum through the year. Uh, if you're talking about semiconductors, uh, business there, uh, you're seeing double ordering and you're seeing uh, very strong business right now and it, it probably is as good as it gets. Okay, so tell us about you. What are you buying right now? What are you staying away from? We're staying away from semiconductors, uh, or at least we're being very careful in our holdings there. Uh, what we're buying is actually uh, communications companies. Uh, we think that as enterprises look at uh, consolidating data centers and using cloud computing, they're having to beef up their uh, communications infrastructure. Now, your fund has a strong U.S. focus, but are there also investment opportunities outside of the U.S.? I'm thinking of China specifically? Yeah, I, I, I just got back from Hong Kong actually and uh, I, I think the opportunities in China continue to be uh, excellent. Uh, there's a lot of concern about the Chinese economy when you, you actually go visit China they're not as concerned as uh, it seems like outside observers are. So from what you're saying you think that uh, concerns about interest rates, asset bubbles in the property and stock markets are exaggerated? I think they're exaggerated, yes. Um, now, you're strongly invested in Google as well. What do you make of uh, their dispute with, with China right now and their decisions uh, with regards to that? Well, I think the management of Google, uh, particularly Sergey Brin, is, uh, is very idealistic and uh, perhaps a little bit uh, uh, too idealistic in dealing with a government like China. They, they really don't uh, like to negotiate in public. But I, but I think over time, Google and China will come back together because I think it's in China's interest to work with Google. So with that in mind, are you going to be keeping hold of your Google shares? Yeah, we like, we like Google not because of what they did in China, but because of uh, what they're doing in search and what they're doing with YouTube. Uh, we think YouTube is actually going to be quite monetizable this year and, and is growing very rapidly now. People are really uh, migrating toward internet video and uh, YouTube is uh, the most popular internet video site by a long way. Walter Price, thanks so much for speaking to us. We appreciate it. Thank you.